Oh my god! That was so sick! I got the whole E on video. Got the wall. Oh. Look at that pig. And this one's huge. Dude, look at how good just. Oh. Alright guys, it is early. It is way colder than we thought it was gonna be. Thought we were gonna have a little bit of a more of a warm front coming in, but we were taking out the boat. It was before sunrise, taking out the next boat. And we we're gonna hopefully get us on some decent reds, trout, some colder water species, maybe some sheep's head. Um, I don't really know. Mainly is reds and trout, I think, today. Maybe if it gets warmer, the snook might join in, but we will see what happens. So we're using a little jelly prawn color. Look at that stud. All right, we got a slightly late start, but we wanted to fish the uh, warmer time of the day anyways. We are here at the ramp. Got Nick over here getting the boat ready. Got Leo right there. Space. We're gonna slay today, bro. Hell no. Got the F dub watching us out there, making sure we uh, got our life jackets. The gator trout over here busting up some bait. Let's see if we can get one. Got the rip snorter. What? That's what it's called. The rip snorter? Yeah. Ooh, they hit it, they hit it, they hit it, they hit it. Come on, come on, come on. Bow hook something, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You got a scale. Now. I literally missed it. Missed the flip. Oh, what the hell was that? I saw him swirl the hell out of it, right? Got him! Got him! Got him! Nice fish. Get the trolling motor for me. It's not on, it's not on, it's not on. Ooh! 40 pound, 40 pounds, not really enough, but... Keeping them light drag, light drag. Is that a camera on? Oh yeah. <laughs> I turned the camera on, Ooh, took one cast. Fish. We're good at right here, right? Yeah, just turn it off, turn it off. He's digging us. <laughs> dude, he's, nice that's like the snow, easiest dude. slot I've ever caught right there. Nice. Snow. 40 pound usually breaks me with these guys. Ooh. <laughs> Now you see what I'm talking about? He's so fat with the shoulders on him, dude. Oh man. Oh, he's going back for the dock. He's going back for the dock. He's not even done. He just realized he was hooked when I pulled him out of there. Ooh, I'm the flick prime. Careful with gill plate, dude. I know, I, I'm not even, I'm literally having my spool open. Heart's pounding, bro. I haven't caught one like this in a while. Nice, dude. <laughs> no net them. We're gonna lip them. We're gonna lip them. Oh, looks up. Let's go, boy. First fish in the boat. Ooh. And it's a slob. Oh my god, bro. That is why I fished the flick prawn, man. Look at that. Yeah, let's get a picture of this thing, dude. I wish it was still seasoned, right? But that is a slot fish right there. Flick ba bam! Flick prong does it again. That's at least a slot. Oh, yeah. It's definitely like twenty-eight. Oh yeah. Look at that. Twenty-eight right on the dot. Right in the slot. 
That's a perfect slot size fish. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. Look at that stud. 28 incher. First, my first fish of the day. Nick caught some trout already. But this guy inhaled the flip prawn. He hit it like four times before he finally got prawn. it. Yeah, you want to use one now? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I know you would. They are the I best am. inshore lures. You wouldn't hit anything else. Finally, it's the flip prawn. Oh, he's chomping on my thumb. He's ready. Let her go. There she goes. The big ones are usually female. The small ones are now. Nick's over there. I gave him a flick prawn to try out. He's got my the first, uh, my first flick prawn experience. Hey, got the rattle in there. That's a little natural color. I'm using the uh, good. jelly prawn. See what happens. Oh, you have him right there again. Yeah. Nick already caught a few trout. We've seen snook literally tailing in these rocks over here. So that's not exactly what we were expecting to see today because it's kind of cold. But today it got a little bit warmer and the snook returned back on. We might see some reds, but I think we're actually going to stick to fishing docks for a little bit. Flats around docks. And flats also. I think the flats will probably be good because usually the fish here flat, are deep under the shadows in these docks. But since the cold water, since we've got some cold water coming in right now, the fish are actually moving out in the shallow stuff right outside of the docks and they're soaking up the sun and they're feeding in that shallow water which is really cool because you can sight cast them and stuff here in front of us. that was a big fish switch it he's got it he's got it get him, get him. oh oh my god right in there two inches of water bro he's i don't see him anymore but keep going right in front of the boat that's insane you saw him turn on it right <laughs> i think he kind of spooked him on that hook set so he definitely moved farther back there lost a freaking monster in the mangroves my line started going out so i knew i had to Fish. Now there's like seven, six or seven of them. He's right there. What are you doing? He's right there now. See him in the open? Open water right there? You get it? Did you get it? I missed it. No, they weren't molar. Are you kidding me? Do you not want it? All right, yep, he'll hit the flick prawn now. Oh, he just moved away. You see that? <gasps> oh my God. Get him, bro. Get him, bro. Oh my god! That was so sick. I got the whole eat on video. That's an overslot. That oh is yeah. Overslot. Let's go. Flick prawn. Keep that drag loose, brother. Oh my god. Turn the trolling motor off. It's on? <laughs> Let's go, there's a whole school of them this size, man. Oh, oh you let go right there. Jeez, did it straighten your hook or something? It just came off. It's ridiculous how many fish are back here right now. There's another one right there. Ooh, yes, that's it. You didn't even swipe out of that time. Yeah, we've been fishing this same school go. for a little bit now, yeah. So we might move spots here soon. We caught like 10 fish off the school almost now, but whew, keep on looking. Yo! 
got him. <laughs> yep. Not the one I was looking at. The little one. Little guy on the plate prone. Crushed it pretty hard. That looks sad too. Alright. Guess I got him. That's a freaking really nice one though. Just stabbed me with this bottom pin. Watch out for that. Here he goes. Little guy. It's like they're getting a little smaller now. It's like 18 inches. Oh, it's redfish! It's redfish! 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 It's redfish. No, it's just like all these mangroves. Like this funnels gets skinnier and skinnier. Fast. 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 I saw them coming up and like missing it. Yeah, they do that. Dude. <gasps> yeah! Oh, we hit it right at the boat. That was insane. As soon as I started speeding it up, like you said, dude, that's hilarious. So that's what they want. They want quick moving. This whole area is just loaded with snook right now. I'm gonna go for a boat flip on this guy. That is not as big as one you hooked for sure. Yours was like a 34. Nice. The swim bait at them, and they wouldn't touch it. And then you throw the flick prong, and you, you caught, you hooked like a freaking over slot fish. I mean, it's crazy. Not really hitting on anything else because the water is all cold. Fighting hard now. <laughs> and make sure I ride these guys really good because they are a beautiful fish. Even though you're allowed to harvest snook, I'd treat them like they're still endangered because 2006, they got hurt pretty bad. So I, I almost never keep snook. That's what we're using, a little jelly prawn color. Nick's got the natural brown or whatever color. The flats are close to now, close to deep water. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and can go back and forth really quickly. Right? But they're also sit they're sitting in the shallow stuff yeah. though too. You can tell they were in deeper stuff. That's why they're back here. Yeah. It's so close. They can swim right back here. They used to be under the docks, and now it's getting a little cold. They're moving up shallow, which is making it a lot more fun to fish though, because you can sight cast them, and it's really rare to be able to sight cast snook like that. So. 45. Ooh, 45 back here. That'd be insane. <laughs> I don't you would probably there's a good chance you'd break off of that. Oh here. yeah. Back here especially. Yeah, they just go right under those trees and they would do yeah, you couldn't do anything about it. They just pull you underneath there and you'd be like, oh no. Oh my god, my GoPro died for this one, but holy crap, it's another nice snuck. What did he eat? Nick? Ooh, don't hit your head, man. Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh, oh. Flip oh wrong. you seen it, you seen it. That was like a 26, not even a slot, but that is super fun. You see him back there? I literally saw like a fin move for half a second and I just cast back there and instantly crushed it. But yeah, these guys are getting really deep in these mangroves. This thing is weedless, so you can skip it up in there. Just keep on going. See if there's any more. Alright, so me and Nick are walking through this trail in the woods. I've got a really good spot for tarpon. I've only fished it once. Ooh, this is it right here. Right here. Be quiet. Do you see him? Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Look at it. Look at it, dude. I told you, bro. I told you this spot's worth it. I don't think it's mine. Yeah. Jeez, look at them all, man. First cast, watch this. Rip it, rip it fast. Got him, got him, got him. No, we didn't. Oh.
Oh my gosh, you got him, you got him, you got him, you got him! Get him, bro! Get him, bro! Get him, bro! Flip him, flip him, flip him! Ooh! Mini poon! Micro poon! Look at that, dude! That's the slam. Trout, snook, reds. Or trout, snook, tarpon. <laughs> The redfish. That is awesome, man. I saw him. Huh? Weirdest looking redfish I've ever seen. Dude. He came and freaking hit it twice. There you go, bro. Little micro poon. Jesus. <laughs> well, that's a good way to release him right there. Pretty low. He's fine. He's just. You didn't really revive him or anything. Oh, Mr. Tarpon. Yo, bro. You good? You good, bro? You good? When you I mean, put it upside down, they get like a seat. Yeah, they're like in a trance. There he goes. He's out of here. That was sick. <gasps> snook, snook, snook. I got that all in my camera. That was so cool. I, I got it too. Got him, got him, got him, baby tarpon. Oh, it's a redfish. Nice little redfish on the wiggle bomb. Let's try to switch it up because it's super weedy back here. And it is like super hard to cast back here, but it's like every cast they're hitting it. It's hard to get them out. That's awesome. That completes the slam. I we're combining me and Nick's fish. Trout, redfish, snook, tarpon. No catfish good day to me beautiful <laughs> most of them in the schools are all slots <laughs> little one so there are some on this side too I haven't tried this side yet yeah the fish are even freezing cold nice this is definitely the smallest one of the day, but hopefully we can get on some bigger ones. That's it. Honestly. <laughs> Little one again. Dude, let it sit. Let it sit to the bottom first and then start moving. That's what I've been doing. Yeah. Like dead stick it and then twitch it. The second I twitched it, you hit it. Yeah, that's like a that's a decent one right there. Another like 16, 17 incher. And then get this guy back. Dang that release. Keep him away. Keep him away. Nice. You want me to grab him? All right, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Ooh. Yes. My him. first snook I caught all day. <laughs> so it's almost dark now. Heck yes, dude. You're fat fish, though. Really. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's like a 20 plus for sure. Put them on the scale thing. Heck yeah, dude. It's my favorite fish in the world. Dad and Red Fish. Yeah. Yeah.